Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today I would like to talk to you about DANAP, and in specifics, how to apply dynamic formatting from Power BI to your numbers in DANAP visuals. Let's dive into Power BI and see what we'll be working with. I hope by now you're familiar with dynamic formatting. If you aren't, make sure to watch two of my videos on this topic, how to format uh, currencies, with dynamic formatting and how to utilize it to format as K, millions, billions, etc. It's quite a flexible tool. Videos will be in the description of this video. For now, what you will see on the right is dynamically formatted total sales measure. As you can see here, it's formatted to show thousands. Let's have a look at the measure itself how it works. Measure is a simple sum of the sales amount. Format is sent to dynamic. And if you switch to format, here you can see formatting string. This is what makes it formatted this way. This visual has the same total sales measure. But as you can see, it's not formatted the same. So let's try to fix it because we want it to look consistent, right? So I'll navigate to edit. And here we see spec for this dynamic visual. What happens when you use dynamic formatting and put measure with dynamic formatting into DANIP, it actually provides three measures or DANIP sees three measures instead. If you go to data, here we have data set, which is created automatically when you put some Power BI columns or measures into DANIP. Within it, for total sales, we have three different columns. Total sales, which is just a number, not formatted. The one that is currently displayed uh, on a bar chart. Total sales format. This is the formatting string that I showed you. The one that is applied to measure to format in thousands. And the third one, this is actually formatted number already. So let's try utilizing it in our bar chart to format the number. There are two ways. There are two ways to apply for dynamic formatting. I will show you both. Let's start with the simplest one. You will go to encoding you will find total sales and here you actually see x we use uh, total sales for x axis okay but we also have here text section which is responsible for data labels that you see on a bar chart for these for those data labels it uses total sales fields and it says that the type is nominal. Basically, it displays it as is. Right. Do you see where this is going and where, what can we do here? The simplest way to format your data labels differently would be This one. Let me press play. And as you can see, what I did is I changed field from total sales measure, which comes unformatted, as we saw, or as we see here on the right, to total sales formatted, which, al which already shows number with dynamic formatting applied. By doing this, you tell Danib to use this formatted string 
that formatted number and display it as data label. And as you can see, we have it formatted. It's as simple as that. But if that is not sufficient, there is also other way. If for some reason you cannot use this formatted uh, uh, measure, formatted field, and you have some formatting string that you want to apply across different, uh, different measures, which might be calculated within the NIP visual itself, within spec itself, there is also other way to apply Power BI dynamic formatting string to any number within DENIP. Let's make it happen. For this, you will need to add a few lines of code, though. So, let's navigate and add, and I have it copied already, but I will walk you through the code. Let's add transform section. In this transform section, what we're calculating is we're taking total sales from provided by Power BI. And we're also taking the format string, dynamic formatting string, this one. So we're taking this number on formatted one and we're taking this dynamic string. And we're telling Denip that it is indeed Power BI dynamic format string, PBI format. First, we're providing the number that we want to format, and then we're providing the string that we want to use. You can actually provide formatting, Power BI formatting string directly. You don't have to reference the field the way I do this here. Basically, you can copy this formatting string and you can add it here instead of field reference. Let's add. Okay, let's execute. And this will give you the same result. Absolutely the same. But of course, if you have formatting string attached to the measure, you don't have to actually reference it directly. There is advantage that if you update it in the measure, it will automatically propagate to the NIP visual if you are referencing the field. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.